What's up, good people and Eagle fans? This is Mark Holmes here, and as always, I want to say thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report. Without you guys, as well as you ladies, you know that this literally does not work. Man, I, oh my lord. This, this is bad. I've got everybody who's texting me and asking me questions. I wish I had the answers. This is a, I, I even had Philly 500 and he's like, dude, what's going on with your team, man? And, you know, he's disgusted that his team, of course, just like us is sitting home. He's like, you know, he's like, I thought we'd at least be, you know, to the NFC championship game, a couple more weeks of football and stuff. And he's like the drama. And I was talking to him about, I said, you know, it's C.D. Lamb's mom is going off on Dak Prescott. And he was saying, man, he's like, you guys are just like us. He's like, we got all kinds of drama. He's like, we still don't know officially if we've got Nick Sirianni or what as the coach. You know, we want to get rid of that guy. And it's like, I think that's how everybody feels about Mike McCarthy. Everybody wants to get rid of that guy. So, yeah, it's shit is just ugly. It's just ugly all the way around. And, you know, with all of the hits that have been coming between Des Bryant talking about Romo and Witten and Jason Garrett and how the organization treated them, we got Micah Parsons' dad, you know, kind of getting on the bandwagon with that too, basically saying, yeah, there is some politics and contract stuff that's going on that, you know, where they, they don't, yeah, it, and I have to say, I kind of agree with some of that stuff. Cause I think back to how Des Bryant was when they were trying to get a contract with them. All of a sudden it was all this stuff that like Des Bryant wasn't a team player or Des Bryant had the police showing up in his house and there might be a tape out there, you know, and, and that's where you kind of wonder was some of that stuff done to try and, you know, keep your, your, your contract down. Well, let's add on to the list now. Let's, let's add on to the list. I've got, oh boy, Tad Prescott, which we haven't heard from Tad in a while. Tad Prescott, we have not heard from in a while. Usually when we hear from Tad is when shit is going downhill and the fans are being assholes. Um, he t posted on Instagram here earlier today, um, or somebody posted a tweet of his cowboy fans. Why continue to DM me and trust me? If I could get Dak Prescott to leave Dallas, I would get him out of Dallas. The city and the organization have been great to he and our family. Uh, that's not, that's exactly how it's written. He, him, my, my wife would say, what are you saying? He it's him. So, because we know I'm not grammatically correct. Um, but done with drama and the so-called fans, but he loves this team and wants to bring it a ring. I don't know how anybody, and I mean anybody out there, would think that Dak Prescott is not trying to do everything that he can to win a Super Bowl because you're talking about making yourself immortal with the Dallas Cowboys. Like Micah Parsons said, you win a ring here, you, you, you got everything. You literally have everything. You got the keys to the cities. After 29 years, you've got the hearts, the souls. The, you become legends. You become part of the football gods, that great wall of Dallas, that doomsday defense, one, two, and three, that Hail Mary, that Captain America, that America's team. So to think that Dak Prescott, along with every one of those players there, are not trying to do everything humanly possible to win, I don't believe that. Now, that may not be. Now, the thing I will say that gives me pause, and I'm not saying giving you pause like, you know, Philly 500 um, would, you know, when he basically will say, uh, literally quit. They quit. 
quit. This isn't a thing. Well, we just didn't see. When I hear the players, and I love all the players. I love Cox, and I love. 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 I love Cox, and I. Pause. I think that the Dallas Cowboys, especially when you think about somebody like Tyron Smith, who's seen so many players come and go, want nothing more than getting a ring. I have to believe that Micah Parsons, who says things like, I don't want to just be in the Hall of Fame. I want to be the greatest in the Hall of Fame. I have to believe that when Dak Prescott puts a field in his backyard and he works out with those guys all off season and goes on trips and bonding and everything else and still working out, is not doing everything humanly possible that he can to try and win. Sometimes it's just not meant to be. There's a lot of incredible players, Hall of Fame ones, you know, best of all times that don't have a ring. It's not easy to win a ring. And a lot of times shit happens. But I do know this much. All of the stuff that is going on right now, this is not good. I don't know how the locker room is going to be with this. You know, you've got Tad basically saying, I want to see my brother get the hell out of here because all these people suck. You got C.D. Lamb's mom going to C.D. basically saying, you know, Dak Prescott stinks and, you know, I wish he'd get the hell out. You've got, you know, Micah Parsons' dad who's throwing the, the, the management under the bus. All these guys, I hope that none of this stuff filters into the locker room, and that's the biggest question Everybody is asking me, how does this affect the locker room? I, I hope that this creates a bunker mentality that gets them to focus in on the one thing they need to do, which is football. Um, I think we need to do less talking and telling people how good you are and what you're going to be, that I'm going to be the greatest of all time in the Hall of Fame, that, you know, we're going to, uh, you know, go to the Super Bowl. I think what, what we need now is we don't need any more talk. We don't need any more talk. We need to see action. And you, you've got a Cowboys fan base that is, as my dad would say, broke, busted, and thoroughly disgusted right now with what's going on and where we are. And this is apparently getting to the families as well because they are flustered. I just don't know what to do with this. This is sad. It's, it's just bad. It's just bad. Oh, boy. Hopefully I'll see my buddy Game Time Brian, see if he can help talk me off the ledge again. But at least, I can at least say, at least the, the man cave is looking a little bit better. Yeah, at least it's looking a little bit better. Well, we'll be live streaming during the games. Peace out.